Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Now, before this video gets started, I have a couple announcements to make for Axial Fest West 2023 this year. One of those being, if you are going to Axial Fest West 2023, leave it down in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going so I, you can come say hi to me or I can come say hi to you, vice versa. And the other thing is, if you haven't seen my last episode of episode one of Road to Axial Fest, Make sure to go check that out before you watch this video because it's episode two and last time I checked, one is before two. Am I right? So uh, let's go over the other announcement. Now the other announcement isn't so much of a surprise now because I did tell my Instagram followers before here on YouTube about this announcement and that's why you should go follow me on Instagram at HumphreyRCAdventure. Now, here's, here's the thing. The hats. Now, let me explain why I got hats. Okay, so the reason I'm bringing up the hats is no, they are not for sale and no, I am not giving them away. There's three hats, two right here and one on my head. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, well, three hats and there's three members of my crew, the Humphrey RC Adventure crew for Axial Fest. Now, if you see one of these hats out and about, they are part of my crew, and if you say hi to them, you might just get one of 50 stickers. That's right. There is only 50 stickers for Axial Fest this year. Last year, there was only 10, maybe 25, and I ran out in one day. So if you want a sticker, make sure to say hi to me or someone from my crew. So let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so other than the hats and the stickers, which you'll be able to see at Axial Fest West 2023, we have some packing to do. Now here's the struggle, is we gotta get this truck, this truck, this trailer, and this Can-Am, their controllers, and my tools in these two bins. Um, so yeah, today's video, uh, we're packing. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but we have to pack the first class package first. The build is in one of the bins, but it pretty much takes up the whole space in the bin. I mean, that's almost bumper to bumper there. And then I have some bubble wrap that I'm gonna put around it just to protect it so it's not all wibbly wobbly in the back of Papa's truck. But it's this is gonna have to be mixed in with the tools because I don't even know if the regular Gladiator is gonna fit in here. Uh, it's good. that's gonna be tight. So let's let's check it out. All right, guys. So last year I took the camper off for transport, but this year I think we're gonna have to leave it on. So let's let's give this a try here. Put that there. Move this down here. Okay. So I just realized that pretty much none of that was caught on camera, but it's in. It's barely in but it's in. God, that's close. Okay, so both the trucks are in their bins, but now we gotta put the trailer and Can-Am in one. I might have to get a box and put it in a box. Because the trailer I'm not as worried about. Honestly, I don't even think the trailer was in a bin or box last year, but we're gonna have to um, put one, put it in a box this year because we have multiple trucks going and multiple crew members going this year. So. All right guys, so I did make some progress here. I did take a little break just to eat something because I was getting hungry, but right back here, as you can see, we have all the vehicles loaded up in their bins. It's a bit of a tight fit, but let's go over just how I did it. Okay, so everything's in and this is kind of in. I, I, yeah, it'll fit. So it's not putting too much pressure on the camper because it's a lightweight vehicle, but this is that bin and here's this bin. It's got the main truck, some of the, uh, the merch and the stickers and a bunch of random stuff. And then we'll get the tool bin and then the trailer we'll just throw on top of the bins there. Uh, once the lids are on, if I can find the lids. That's the problem we're facing right now. But last year, I took both bins, but uh, the camper and trailer and Can-Am had this bin right here, and the truck 
got its very own bin with a bunch of tools and stuff. So I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one, but let's, uh, I just have some things to take care of real quick and we'll get back to it. All right, guys, look who made a special appearance. Scrappy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tell me. Yeah, good boy. That's a good boy. So there's Scrappy for you. I don't really like to call him a shop dog, but ever since I put this carpet down, he likes it out here. And it's warm, because as you can hear in the background, the AC is on and it, it doesn't work quite well out here, but he enjoys it and it's nice having a little friend out here while I'm doing stuff. Okay guys, I know this is supposed to be a packing video for Axial Fest, but when Scrappy's in the shop here, it's just, it's a different kind of video, but I, all I, the last thing I wanted to say was Scrappy here. Hey, come here. The last thing I wanted to say with Scrappy here is if you want to see more of him and his fun-filled adventures, go follow Max the Ram on Instagram. Huh, buddy? You like going for rides? Yeah. You, you want to go for a ride? See? Just like that. He loves his adventures. Huh, buddy? Such a good boy. These two bins are going, so we are pretty much packed other than the camera equipment and uh, the trailer and just some tools and my clothing, of course, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, guys, now that the uh, bins are completely loaded, now we gotta load them up. Let's get them loaded up in the truck. For those of you who don't know, uh, 2021 Ram 3500 lawn bed, big horn and it's just an absolute dream to drive. Here's a little outside view for you of what it looks like. Like I said, lawn bed. Just got some brand new Method wheels on there. And you guys know I love my Method wheels. So this was super cool that we got Method wheels on Dad's truck. Not to worry though, not to worry. The Jeep is still here. It's just, yeah, Jeep's fine. Okay, Jeep's fine. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for episode two of Road to Axial Fest West 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. It wasn't that interesting of a video, but you guys got to see me pack, which is some behind-the-scenes stuff you normally don't see. So uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comments how I did on my packing and if, and if it'll survive to Axial Fest West 2023. With all that being said, make sure to stay tuned for episode three and all the other episodes leading up to Axial Fest. I think that's gonna do it for today's video. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.